What's up my little learners? This is Geeta Thakur and today we are going to be learning about respiration. We are going to see how plants breathe, how they uh, take in oxygen and how they get, leave out carbon dioxide. So let's get into it. So plants basically breathe via diffusion. To understand the process better, please check out our video on osmosis and diffusion. And all the parts of the plant are actually breathing only via diffusion. However, there are three separate things, there are three separate parts that we need to understand over here. So we have the non-green parts of a plant. This, the bark or the stem, they breathe through their cells called lenticels. The diffusion takes place in lenticels. We have the green part and the diffusion over here takes place by the stomata. Please keep in mind, during the day, the plant is producing a lot of oxygen. So oxygen is what is getting diffused out because of photosynthesis. And during the night, the stomata helps by taking in the oxygen via diffusion. And finally, we have the root. The roots breathe through the root hair. That's where the that's the site for diffusion. To, ex to get into the roots for a second, I wanted to explain this to you. Imagine this is my soil. Uh, particles of soil are not so big, but we are just using this to exemplify to exaggerate uh, a point so imagine this is my soil and in between the soil as of now right now there's a lot of air but if i put in water all the space in between it is taken by the water which means and you can see that there are small small bubbles on the top that is the air that was inside and you can see now that there is there is actually no space left for the air so which is why during floods or when there's a lot of water logging in the soil, uh, the roots find it extremely difficult to breathe and the trees can die, which is why you should not water your plants as much. And that is it actually about respiration. Remember for the root hair, it, uh, for the roots, it is the root hair. For the green parts of the plant, it's the stomata. And for the brown parts of the plant, it is the lenticels that help in diffusion. Okay, so to demonstrate respiration in plants, I have a small demonstration over here. We have a leaf over here. I'm going to cover one half of this leaf uh, by Vaseline so that, that that makes sure that the stomata is closed. It creates a seal. We're going to immerse it in a bowl to observe the diffusion through the stomata. You see that the leaf is lighter. It has a tendency to come up. So we're just going to put in a few colored stones and we're just going to see how this looks like in a couple of hours. As we can see, the bubbles start forming on the right hand side of the leaf more than they are on the left hand side of the leaf. There are more bubbles on the lower surface of the leaf than on the upper surface of the leaf. These bubbles are slowly going to get bigger and more frequent. The entire shot has been four hours long and we can see the amount of diffusion that has taken place. So that's it guys, that's all about respiration in plants. Please let me know if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and keep watching for more science videos.